Welcome to Forever Classic. I'm Razor105. And I'm Brian. Today we are playing probably one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. I spent so much time playing this game, mostly on the Game Boy. But it's probably one of the best Super Nintendo games out there. This is Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Kong Quest. Brian here with me. He's new guest on the show. How you doing today, Mr. Brian? I'm good. Have you played this game before? No. What is wrong with you? Uh oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> is that is that me? Yes. Okay. Damn it. I'm currently not doing it. Yeah, I'm just trying to use you as a, okay. a tool. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've made mistakes. <laughs> ah, it's your turn. Now you get to try. I could have sworn that I could like throw you at enemies, and you were invincible at the at, during that. But okay, so you get to feel for it. Yeah. Here it goes. Oh god, there's so many good platformer games on the Super Nintendo. Hey, you get another life too. Well, at least if we mess up too much, yeah. we can always come back here. That or by jumping on such. And then if you want to tag me out, I think you click the select button. Oh. Not one for Donkey Kong, are ya? I see how this is gonna go down. I've been playing this game way too much. Really? Yes. It's so good. It's just, it makes me laugh to see uh, monkeys cry. I'm a normal person. Okay. No! It's your turn. Press a button. Don't fuck up. Woo! You did it! Thank goodness for secrets. Run! Just keep going. Yeah, now you gotta find the token. The other thing I really like about this game is its music is amazing. Jump on the barrels. Found the token. You did it! That was easy. <laughs> it's not supposed to be hard, it's level one! Aw, oh, yeah. Guess who it is? Jump on that. It's Rambi! It's Rambi! He's a Ricegosaurus. And he don't give a fuck about rats. I wish he would find a, uh... Oh, shoot. A DK barrel to let my worthless ass out. Jump there. You do that, that Rambi... What are you doing? Come on, Brian. You got it. Uh, uh, yeah! It's always interesting for me to, like, watch somebody who doesn't play a lot of platformers or didn't play a lot of, like, Super Nintendo games so they don't, like, really understand and try to figure out how those sort of players, like, get through these games. Ooh, get that! No! Because these games are designed for everybody, right? So it's interesting to see, like, an inexperienced player, like, take in the level design and try to do something with it. Yeah. We did it. Did no, it's me now? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't see how, but alright. Beep, beep. Check this out. Pro plays. That's the other thing, too. If you're falling and you press jump, you, you get one jump per fall. So you can roll off an edge and then jump. It's hard as shit to do, though. I do not recommend. These early levels really aren't that bad. This game was as hard as shit on the Game Boy. Because I played it in, like, black and white, dude. It was really hard to distinguish, like, anything. The banana 
bananas are like the bananas are in Donkey Kong as coins are to Mario. Yeah. Do you like that that little puzzle there? Damn it. You gotta press something. It's B. You gotta press B. B or jump or whatever. No, Brian! <laughs> you made a monkey sad! <laughs> you make a monkey sad! So, what, uh. This is kind of weird because you're what? I don't know, 17, 16? 18. 18? Yeah. And I'm 23, so obviously we grew up with different games. What? game did you grow up playing? Son of a bitch. Um, not many. I, uh, I mostly had like a, a Hot Wheels game. Hot Wheels? Yeah. You on PS1? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I played that a lot. I think Kimmy played that one a lot too, actually. I think she played it with me. I know she talked about it a lot. She's like, oh, you gotta play Hot Wheels. It's great. I ran right into him. You did? But I grew up playing, like, all the old Nintendo stuff, like Mario and uh, well, I played Mario. Donkey Kong and all that. I played Mario versus Donkey Kong. Oh, as a Kong. kid? Yeah. Huh. Let's yeah, see, that was dad, a... My dad had it on the Game Boy. Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. Is that the one that's, like, the arcade version sort of thing? Um, yeah, I think. Oh, uh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. I'd have to look it up, I think. It was pretty cool. I remember, like, first seeing this game in Donkey Kong Country. I was kind of blown away. Because, like, graphically, it's amazing for the Super Nintendo. Because it's like that pseudo 3D sort of thing. Yeah. It's interesting. I played a Donkey Kong. I just don't remember which Donkey Kong it was. Right. But, I mean, so you grew up playing, like... PS1 racing games, and I grew up playing, like, the the classic platformer games. Yeah. So if you notice, like, just about any platformer I can pick up fairly quickly. Well, you might be able to pick up racing games a lot more quickly than I can. No. <laughs> I, I was only good at that one. Just and, that one. Yeah, and the only reason I grew up only playing that one is because that's the only one my parents would buy me. No. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I was lucky to, like, my parents were always, like, uh... They were into the Nintendo thing. Yeah. My dad had an Atari. He traded it for a Nintendo and a couple more dollars or something. And, like, from that point onward, like, I had my own Nintendo. Well, as soon as I could start getting my own games, it was RPGs. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't get into RPGs until the PS1. And that was actually my uh, buddy Timmy's sister showed me um, Legend of Dragoon and Final Fantasy VIII. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> and from then on, I, like RPGs were my favorite genre. Like, I bought them on the PS1 and, yeah. and all that. But yeah, it's kind of weird because, like, even when I was a kid, regular Nintendo games were, uh, like, super cheap at... Uh, like pawn shops and stuff. Yeah. So dad would come home with a stack that he paid like 20 bucks for. And it'd be like 14 games. Amazing times. And then I got had that really terrible Ninja Turtle game on the regular Nintendo. That game's awful. But I actually didn't own Donkey Kong Country until way later. Like I didn't play it as a kid except for like over at a friend's house. But I never owned it. Except for this one on the Game Boy, which is essentially the same thing, but I mean, this version's obviously better. I think it's a third one. Don't throw me into that beat. Don't do it! Don't do it! Do B button. B? I did it. I... You gotta throw it at the beat. Oh! You gotta break it on the beat. That makes sense now. I mean, you can try it. Do it again. You can. We're going to. One more time! That's another interesting concept of this game. Like, Mario has a time limit, right? Yeah. Donkey Kong doesn't. So it, they hide all these things for you to explore the level thoroughly. Or you can just go through it. Like, it's really up to the player. Yeah, so grab it with B, and then you gotta, like, press hold up and throw. See how that works? I it was the wrong way, and I ran out of time. <laughs> it wasn't the third one. It was not the third one. Alright, we're gonna go... Okay. You're gonna go do something. 
Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Watch how I kill myself on a stupid bee. I hate the bees. Found it. It was the first one. I don't know if it's randomized or not. <laughs> I just love, like, the pirate theme of this game. Yeah. Like, it's very... everything's piratey. But yeah, just like in Mario, 100 nanners give you, uh, free life. Awesome. That was weird. That was kinda weird. Like, you saw how it exploded on his face, right? But the balloon appeared right in front of me. It is magic. It's monka magic. Watch this guy. This guy cracks me up. He's like, hup, 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 yup, 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 yup. Don't you piss him off. Right in front of him. Just run. Oh, get that barrel. Made him angry. No. Beat the barrel. Okay, I can't jump. No, but you can roll into him. Like that. Oh, Your little hair whippy yeah. will kill him. Hey ya! Yeah. And now you can throw the barrel at the big dude, and huzzah! Monkey time. Uh oh. I, I twisted into the other mouse. <laughs> the other thing about uh, Dixie Kong is she can fly. She can fly. Yeah, if you press B in the air, she like hovers. That's so she's a really good character for people to like play in the beginning as. Because she makes a lot of the levels easier. Somehow we did. Does that mean we need to go back? I don't know about that. The O is just like you get. Once you spell out Kong, you get a free life. It seems like it would be useful because some of us keep dying. <laughs> some of us, as in both of us. We both kind of suck. <laughs> yeah! Hey. Do you notice uh, how like the colors changed in that in the background? Yeah. Like it was all sunset Oh, it's been that way the whole level. Huh. Interesting. This is also during that time when, like, there was a lot of hip-hop culture in America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the Japanese are like, that must be the cool thing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, let's go here. Kong! He's so old, he need two canes. His poor little legs don't work at all. <laughs> Oh, he'll tell you stuff. Huh. So he's just giving us, like, tips about each level. And you can use those banana coins to buy, like, more tips later on. Which we don't need those. Yeah. Let's leave. He's got, like, a mounted head. He does. That's morbid. Seems like he decided to kill somebody. Yeah. He's like, these motherfuckers that keep getting on our boat, I've killed one of them! There's another person. Oh, Cranky Kong's going hunting tonight! I forget what this one's like, Grandma Kong or something. <laughs> Granny Kong. I don't remember. So we can also learn how to save the game. No, I think she just saves it. Oh. Well, let's do that. <laughs> she doesn't learn, or she doesn't teach you. You just do. You know, it's Kong Family Coins. Yeah. Oh. Spend them in the various Kong Family locations found throughout the island. And swimming. Press, Press the B button to swim. Up or down on the drag. So the jump button. Yeah. Because, I mean, our buttons are all screwed up right at the moment. End of level target. Now we leave. Yeah. The college. De leave college. college. Ah, uh, that was kind of like how Mortal Kombat spelled all their C's with K's. Yeah. Because they think they're clever. <laughs> and I'll spell clever with a K. <laughs> We're falling. We are currently falling. <laughs> we are falling. Nothing is right in the world. Okay. Oh, get that barrel. Barrel. I, I, there we go. Okay. We can have you now. Yay! You I feel like there's some existential statement to be said about a monkey in a barrel. 
I'm like Schrodinger's cat. Oh, the water's rising. Do we drown? No. If we drown, that's gonna be a problem here soon. Yeah, you see, the, logically, you would think monkeys would have like an oxygen meter or something, like most games do. Like in Tomb Raider or shit. Yeah. But monkeys, little did you know, also have gills. Oh, see, that's useful. That's a useful trait to have. Yeah. That fish wants your butt. Yes, yes it does. And there's another barrel. Oh, yeah. oh boy. You can have Good barrel. thing we're um, on the barrel. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything else in here or not. There's like all sorts of like hidden shit that you can swim through. Yeah. See if you notice like right here. Like, that's crazy. Back when games used to hide shit, like, everywhere. Yeah, they don't do that as much anymore. Not hardly. I mean, there are a lot of indie games that are, like... Their whole design concept is based off these old retro games. So they'll do it sometimes. Yeah. But if they're not... Yeah, but most uh, AAA titles, like, don't hide stuff. Yeah. The Gears of War people used to. Like, there's, um... A giant chicken at one point that shoots fire, and there's like a toaster, and there's a couple other like little hidden things like that. Yeah. I just remember um, the main character Marcus Venus being like, "Who wants toast?" <laughs> That's the only thing I remember about that whole exchange, and it was a pain in the butt to get because you had to like shoot a bunch of cowboy hats or something. I've never actually played. Game or uh, Gears of War? Really? Yeah. Oh, good. I've watched other. I've watched somebody else play it for a few minutes. Yeah. That's about it. Well, I'd say that's about all we have for this episode. Uh, catch you next time on Forever Classic. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, in the next episode, we'll be fighting a giant pirate bird. That sounds like it's gonna be fun. All right. Take it easy, everybody.